I frequently use art as a metaphor in my work. I have a program called The Art of Living. Um, I've done a program called The Art of Activism. My friend Sherry Ray and I are doing a year-end virtual retreat that's called Reboot Your Life, and we're styling it a creative immersion retreat. It's an art process. The reason I love art as a metaphor in the work I do with people and how to live with greater ease, freedom, wisdom, and effectiveness is that art changes the way we hold and the way we answer some key questions that seem to come up time after time in life. For example, the questions, why is this happening? Why should this be this way? Why should I do it that way? And is this right? Those questions come up for the artist. Why should I use oil paint instead of watercolor? But that arises as a question that offers creative choice. It's not like there is a right answer to whether you should use watercolor or oil paint or as an artist that I spoke with yesterday does, paint in acrylic, mix coffee grounds in with her acrylic, and then later paint over the whole thing with oil. I mean, what's up with that? Who said that was right? So questions arise as inquiries, adventures, wonderings, inklings. The relationship we have to questions, even questions like, is this right, is fundamentally more creative, expansive, and infused with wonder and humility. The humility of being willing to be taught, of being willing to make discoveries in the midst of making art. Whereas outside of the frame of art, we tend to ask those questions in a more closed way, looking for the right answer, the best answer, the best practice. Art also reminds us that every choice, every moment, offers us a brand new canvas or stage or page. You can continue to work on a painting or you could start a new painting. You can continue to refine the choreography for a dance, or you can stop and create a new dance. You can create a new dance and go back to the old dance. Art is, gives us a much more fluid and flexible way of relating to time, space, and the order of events. In art, we intuitively understand that everyone has a different experience, opinion, understanding, and story. We don't expect people to experience the same painting the same way we do. Even when we share appreciation for a work of art with a friend, we also enjoy the insights, the experiences, the colors and flavors of the experience that our friend offers that are news to us, that we had not seen. And finally, I say finally, but this is really an endless list. The meaning we make in the process of creating art and experiencing art is always the beginning, not the end. It doesn't really make sense to say the meaning of this symphony is X, and that's the end of the story. The meaning we make of art is always evolving, even after the work of art is finished. In fact, one of my favorite things about art is that art reminds us that the meaning that arises from art and the beauty that arises from art and the drama that arises from art doesn't exist in the piece of art. 
It arises in the engagement with the viewer, the dancer, the writer, the reader. There is an interaction, a connection, and out of that, in every moment, comes fresh meaning, fresh richness, sometimes fresh art. So why does this matter? I think it matters because I think that life is fundamentally a creative enterprise. Creating is what we're designed for. A two-year-old encountering a blank wall who has a crayon is impelled to make a mark on that wall. We are creative by nature. We make choices. We make decisions. We cook things up. We plot. We plan. We go on adventures. We create businesses. We build sandcastles because that's what we do, not because it's the right thing to do or the best thing to do. And there's something about reconnecting and deeply appreciating that fundamental truth about human beings that we are inherently creative. That's a game changer. Creativity is not something we have to seek, refine, practice, develop. It's what we are. And as you go forward into the coming year, as you experience the rest of this year, I would love for you to have even the teensiest appreciation for the miraculous participant in creation that you are, for the creator you are, and for the expression of creation that you are. I'd love to hear what shows up for you, and thank you so much for watching.